Hey everyone, Dave here, and welcome to Lost Recipes Overview. We're actually gonna have quite a few cooking games on Quest now. Is it gonna be a year of that genre? I mean, considering Game of the Year on the PC VR was Cooking Simulator last year, which is both sad and interesting how that even happened. As a cook myself by profession, I will try every game of that kind, and hopefully one day we'll find the one to stick with. So Lost Recipes is a physics-driven cooking simulator game where we culturally dive into the historical dishes from past civilizations to find out if we actually have the chops to be proper culinary chefs. Comparing to all other simulators we've seen, this seems to have more accurate and precise using of physics, I guess as long as you'll be gentle with it, but the game claims that if you do the dishes calmly and reserved, it's gonna have the best results. We will only have three cuisines to choose from, which is Greek, Chinese and Mayan, neither that I specialize nor know any recipes, so this might be a perfect opportunity to learn something. It seems to be all about culture. If we're talking about kitchen tools, cooking techniques, locations, like everything is set to recreate a traditional way of preparing dishes. I'm personally looking for something more complicated nowadays from it, since we've been oversaturated at this point with simple and arcade simulators, so if that game will deliver that, we'll have to see. Chop chop, let's go to the kitchen! Grab and tear off the tab. <gasps> a new volunteer? You wanna cook for ghosts, huh? Think you can learn a bunch of traditional recipes? Well, come over here and we'll get you trained up. Do we have subtitles? First of all, <laughs> I feel like at this point I have like a fetish for it, but it doesn't seem like it. Oh well. Wait, we don't have smooth loco? We have turning, well but... Done. I've got some ghosts who'll be real excited to meet you and share their recipes. I think you'll have a lovely time. First, you need to learn how to get around the kitchen. Once you're oriented, follow me. <laughs> yeah, you've got it. Now turn to your right. When you're ready, come over here and ring this bell. That will make you a certified ghost chef in training. That's what I like to see, fellow ghost chef. Now remember, cooking should be relaxing. Take your time and pay attention to the recipes. Hmm, speaking of which, where should we start you off? Ah, yes, let's do ancient Greece. 3rd century BCE. There's an Athenian who wants to share what he used to make for the big festival called Panathenia. Roasting meats, honeyed wine, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. I was gonna say I wanna start with ancient Greece because I've been there last vacation and maybe I'll recognize something. <laughs> Calimera! Oh, this is perfect! I was hoping to get someone in time for the Panathenia. Well, let's get you situated. I've got a lovely recipe I want you to try. Follow me. I'm very surprised that we don't have Smooth Loco coming from Shell Games even. Now, Panathenia is our largest festival. Athletic games, music, and of course, good food. That's where you come in. We'll start off easy. A triad of staples, grapes, grains, and olives. This recipe tablet should have everything you need to get started. Okay. Fill a mixing bowl about a third full with olive oil. Third full? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, olive oil. Prized among my people. No, literally, we've used it as prizes. You win a chariot race during Panathenia, you get a hundred and forty and four a full of olive oil. Add to the marinade one spoon of thyme and three spoons of rosemary. Oh my god, they're so similar. <laughs> and I'm a cook. <laughs> Thank god for pictures. Add the olives and let them marinate. Are you a fan of green olives or black olives? Perfect. Now, those will need to marinate for a bit. Did you know green olives are just black olives that haven't had as much time to eat them? Oh. Good to know. I'm learning. Oh, the tools and ingredients for making pita are over here. In the mortarin, use the pestle to grind Z and barley grains into flour. It should be half full of flour after grinding. A mix of Z grain, oh, Z is another name for farrow, and barley will make a hearty pita. Uh -huh. Aha. 
add a spoon of salt and splashes of sourdough starter, water, oil and milk. Uh, a spoon. Look at all these ingredients. We want about a 5 to 3 mix of flour to liquid. That's the ratio for most bread and it will get us the consistency oh. we want. Take your time measuring things out. We are in no rush. I don't know, I'm doing it random. Smooth the dough until it's a round ball. Then let it perfectly round and smooth. Wonderful! Fresh charcoal we light if added to the old coals in the oven. I'm really working it. <laughs> Split the dough in half with a knife. Roll it with a pin to flatten. Oh. <laughs> No, where is it? <laughs> Looks like the oven is hot enough to start baking some pitas. Put the pitas in the oven and no, no, no. The dough. we have to roll it. Split the dough in half with a knife. Roll it with a pin to flatten. Oh, I can't grab it in two hands. Unrealistic. <laughs> That's starting to look like a pita. Oh, no. Those look a little Ooh. pale. They feel undercooked to me, don't you think? Put the pitas in the oven and cl good. Let's let that bake. How are the olives coming along? Pour off the marinade and put the olives in a small bowl. Remember to serve the grapes too. Pour off the marinade and put the olives in a small bowl. Don't worry about spills. <laughs> Well, that's not a lot. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, yeah, just put it. The pitas are done when they are golden brown. The pita smells perfect. Quick, don't let it burn. Ooh. Where do I... Place the meal on the serving table and ring the bell. What a wonderfully simple recipe, but so nutritious, don't you think? Let's see how we did, shall we? Nyabuka! Well, hmm, not bad. This reminds me of when I first started cooking. Hey, that was good. Looks like you've got the basics down. Uh, oh my god, the presentation <laughs> sucks. I could hardly taste the salt in the pita. Really? We added a spoon? Rosemary and grapes is an interesting idea. Traditionally though, we serve them... Pla to you told me to add the rosemary. <laughs> I don't think the grapes need... Okay, you know, so we have to pass, I feel like the whole ancient Greece to unlock other things. Okay, we'll do Lukumats and then we'll be done. Lukumades, such a classic. We sometimes call them honey tokens. They were given out as prizes at the Olympics. Okay. In the mortarium, use the pestle to grind Z grains into flour. It will be half full of flour after grinding. So let's just do it accurately with the ingredients. I think if it has this sound, it's fine. <sighs> grinding flour from scratch takes a lot of elbow grease, doesn't it? Add a spoon of salt, some water and a splash of sourdough starter to form a little bit of salt can make a sweet dish taste even sweeter.
smooth until it's a round ball. Then that looks perfect. Come over here where I am. Fresh charcoal will light when added to your old grill fire. Heat up oil in the frying pan until it boils. Boils? Jesus. <laughs> Bring the large dough bowl over to the pan. Oh, white coal. Look at that. It's doubled in size. Scoop out. Wait. <laughs> oh, there's a spoon. Oh, I'll get that. I'm actually having fun. I just need to pay attention. While you're waiting for those to fry, take a look out the window. That's Parthenon. We just finished it. Oh, yeah. A magnificent monument to the goddess Athena, the patroness of Athens and goddess of wisdom and war. Don't distract me. <laughs> but we're in Athens, actually. I've been there. <laughs> Golden brown. Yeah, I think that's it. Those look a little pale. What? They feel undercooked to me, don't you think? Oh, okay, when they turn actually like that. This is not golden brown, it's red. <laughs> oh, look at that. They're turning a perfect golden brown. Oh. Let them cool a bit before adding the honey sauce so they'll be crispy. Okay. In earth and bowl, combine half water and half honey. Honey, the food of the gods. Ambrosia. That was not half. Okay, if I screw this up, it's because of the game. <laughs> Move the pan aside and bring the bowl of honey mixture to a boil. Don't worry about spills. Use the spoon to dip each golden dough ball in the still hot honey mixture. When they are shiny, return them to the plate. Use the spoon to dip each golden dough ball in the still hot honey mixture. When they are shiny, return them to the plate. Is this shiny? I have no idea. Use the grater to sprinkle some fresh cinnamon on top of its dough bowl. Just one scrape of cinnamon per dough ball is enough. Oh. <laughs> well, now you tell me. In another bowl, add one part wine, three parts water, a splash of honey, and a cinnamon stick. Yeah, that's not accurate. <laughs> I'm confused sometimes about the ingredients. Yeah, I don't feel it was three parts of water, but we'll see. Heat the homemade wine until it's boiling. That's cooking to you. 
Serve the heated wine in a Kilix. What is this? Ah. A Kilix is by far the best way to drink wine. It's shallow, so it makes you want to slow down. Sit back. Should we read? Eh? Debate some philosophy. All that good stuff. I'm not sure if it's gonna turn that color. Oh well. Place the meal on the serving table and ring the bell. I think it was more accurate than the other one. So I feel like I screwed up with the cinnamon and maybe the color of this. Okay, presentation, huh? Let me pull something off. Ah, it's not seven, damn it. What can I do with six? It's a weird shape. Sure. <laughs> Maybe I don't turn it? <laughs> Are they ready? Let's give them a try then. Shall we? Yamas. You better like it. By Zeus, that was magnificent. Oh. Just like we used to have during the festival. Woo! Five stars, bitch! Remarkable. You are really taken to this ghost chef job. Okay, so I guess up until the things just have the sound effect, it's fine. But then again, visually, it is not accurate at all. But hey, I'll take it any day. Okay, that's enough of it, honestly. I feel like I prefer this game way more over anything else cooking related I've tried so far. Simply because here you actually follow real recipes with the appropriate amount of ingredients to put in a dish. Hell, you can even make it at home and it's gonna be pretty much what you should be following. So it's even a good learning application to transfer into real life. Graphically it could be a little bit better considering there is not much movement or action. Of course some standard physics but you can really up the quality and stuff. Even with locomotion like there's no reason not to have it. So at least we can move between the tables with our hands but it's not enough. Still really fun, could be a little bit polished but as a chef I approve this.